okay, let's create some URL redirects. Let's say we uh, migrated stores or a lot of products are moving around. You need to create these redirects so you don't get 404s, so Google isn't mad at you. So when you're in the Shopify backend at your admin portal, you click on online store, you go down to navigation, and you go to URL redirects. If you haven't made one, this is what you'll see. Obviously, just click on URL redirect. So let's talk about this, how it works. Let's say that uh, I had an old store, chasesstore.com. Uh, it was on WordPress, right? And now we want to migrate over to Shopify. Um, so let's say the old URL where my green hats that I had for sale was at chasesstore.com slash greenhats.html, right? And now we're on Shopify. I recreated that product. I want all that traffic to not get lost. If it comes into that weird URL that doesn't exist on this new website. So I need to send it to the right place. So it needs to go to you know shop slash products slash green hats that might be the wrong url how, how shopify does it but let's just pretend that that's the actual url um and then you're going to save that redirect and now any traffic that comes into my domain uh will go from the old url that's wrong to the new URL, uh, so it'd be chasestore.com slash shop products green hats. So it would uh, just save that traffic and Google's gonna like that. But uh, this is how you do it one, one at a time. What if you have a bunch of them? So you can do an import. Uh, you can download the SNPD CSV, one column's old URL, other column new URL, makes a lot of sense. I made this quick one here. So you just upload the CSVs and it's going to import these four URL redirects, and once it's done, we'll have a bunch more URL redirects added to the store, so that can save a lot of time, so you don't have to be in there doing it one at a time, uh, and you can see how that worked out there. So that's how you create singular and using the bulk import URL redirects in Shopify.